So now we're going to talk about how you can use mind mapping to write an essay. So let's say you have a topic. Whatever the topic is, uh, let's just take an example for a topic. Should you, uh, should an average person uh, take supplements when going to the gym? That's a random topic that we just chose right now, okay? Um, then you need to think about the branches. You have the topic, the branches. You have some negative aspects. You have some positive aspects. You have some solutions that would prevent you from using um supplements you have main ideas related to supplements maybe um when they were made uh, maybe uh, how many people use them some um, history about them some analytics about them how to use it um how some people use supplements maybe some people use protein powder some people go all the way up to use hormones and inject injectables um and that's all your branches. You figured out all your branches. You figure out that you need to talk about the positive, the negative, the main ideas. So basically the history and the summary and, and what they're about, the solutions that if people decide that they don't want to use them for any reason, what they can do. And if they do want to use them, how can they use them effectively without hurting themselves, for example? Now, of course, uh, the sub branches are different than, than the topic we're talking about, but positive, um, following the same, the same concept, uh, you went f you went from the main idea to the branch. Let's say positive. What are the positive aspects? Building muscle fat, building muscle faster, uh, getting more energy, lifting more weight. What is the negative aspect? Uh, maybe hurting your uh, kidney. Maybe um, affecting your health. Maybe having I don't know um, a bad smell, uh, sweats. I think that happens in some cases. Um, and then you figured it out. Then what kind of solutions do you have? Uh, for example. Eat five mile, uh, eat five meals a day. Uh, keep track of your macros and 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 eat certain uh, certain foods that have a lot of protein in them. These are some kind of solutions. What are the main ideas? The main ideas are that, for example, one in every three people that go to the gym. I'm I'm not sure about these statistics. I'm just saying, one in three people uh, use um, one in three people that go to the gym they use supplements. Another main idea is that uh, another research that said supplements uh, are important, and another idea that said supplements are um, are bad another uh, another study that said supplements are good uh, you add all these main ideas at the beginning for example eventually you do the dividing yourself you see where everything fits how you're going to do the structure of your essay but to just get uh, to just mind map it in your mind and then how to use it maybe you want to tell people how to properly use and not abuse supplements how to use uh, supplements maybe in a way that wouldn't hurt uh, their health taking one scoop of protein a day um, and not taking creatine on an empty stomach for example right and before you know it um you had your topic, you had your essay, and you kind of uh, dissected all this information. You cut it down into bits and pieces. And now you can take each and every one of these bits and pieces. You can go to the positive aspect. And in the positive aspect, you have how it can help you gaining muscle. And then you can write a lot about, you can do, do research about how can supplements help you build muscle. Instead of just searching on Google, for example, for, uh, yeah, of course, a lot of us, we use Google when we want to write an essay. But uh, instead of looking for, on Google, on uh, should should we use supplements, uh, and having all these different long blogs and articles about it. If you use how can supplements help build muscle, then you're going to know what you're going to write about this positive aspect. Negative aspect, for example, affecting your kidney. Uh, you, you can write how can supplements or what supplements can affect your kidney. Then solutions. What solutions do I have? How many meals a day should I eat for me to not use supplements, right? And then it becomes so detailed and becomes so easily um, uh, so easily um, uh, understandable because all your information is cut down into bits and pieces that are easy to understand easy to explain and easy to, to research when you want to write about it and then when you want to develop it instead of having one big topic you have all these small different bits of information that you can develop bit by bit because as i said when you have this specific information you can find a lot of specific information related to it and eventually related to the bigger topic that you wouldn't really it would be hard for you to find if you just looked for the topic itself and that's it that's how you easily uh, mind mind map your essay um, of course different topics have uh, different branches different sub branches but you get the idea you have the topic which is uh, you have the essay then you have the topic then you have all the different ideas behind your topic uh, what constitutes your topic and then you have all the sub branches what you need to know what you need to do or what are the ins and outs of this branch that 